Welcome back to the Scenery Farm. This is the third and uh, final installment in this little group of videos. I'm just putting the hinges on the, uh, what are they, they're 23 and a quarter inch pieces by 15 and a quarter inch pieces. Um, I You got to clamp them together because you want them to close tightly and then you have to also make sure the, the top and bottoms are aligned and I'm doing it with my fingers until I realize I'm a big dope and then I line it up with a piece of wood and then I clamp it in. Uh, I place the hinges and I'm doing three different styles um, so that when the risers butt into each other the knuckles on the hinges don't interfere with one another. I'm doing a style where I put the hinges top top on the two and these this one is on the bottom bottom and uh, then there's another one I do where the hinges are uh, top and bottom um, and uh, and I don't say this sarcastically I just say it truthfully I could use a Vix bit but I really just line the center of the screw up with this, the point of the screw up at the center of the hole and the the wood screws I'm using are nice and aggressive beautiful point on them and if I find I do that, then I check it to make sure that when I close it, they're aligned. Because you can get the alignment on the hinge incorrectly uh, lined up. And then the when it closes, the top and the bottom don't line up, which really is kind of annoying. So then I just put the, uh, uh, put the rest of the screws in. If you are using a, a three-quarter inch screw that doesn't have uh, an aggressive thread with a good point that uh, is designed really for this purpose, well designed for this purpose, then it is a bit of a pain. Um, and the screws may dance around a bit. Um, and then you might have to pre-drill or use a VIX bit or something like that. Or if you're just finding you, you need to, I mean, give her, right? Uh, to each their own in this circumstances. Um, but the idea is to uh, put the screws in so it doesn't uh, jiggle the hinge around. And then, and I say this to mock myself, because later in the video I have a lovely error, because I just wasn't paying attention at one point. The outside hinges go on the opposite side from the center hinges. Um, and it's just a whaler, it's just a piece of plywood that has been used as a leg, I don't know how many times. And there's, there's, there's the first of my boo-boos. I dropped a piece of wood, very fancy. I'm, uh, you know, that does happen. Um, I thought I'd leave it in just to mock myself a little bit. Um, so I, it's lined up. Uh, I put the clamp in just to hold it in place. But then I put the hinge in so that the uh, barrel on the hinge, uh, the actual hinge point is up against it. And it doesn't protrude past the, um, the ends of the pieces of wood. Now, screwing it in, uh, I do the exact same thing couple screws and uh, yeah, whoops uh, drop it in and if I find when I'm starting a screw in a hole and uh, it looks like it's slightly off I just angle it I, I angle it aggressively towards where I want it to go and then straighten it up after a sixteenth of an inch or so and it usually straightens up right inside the center of the hinge hole um, and I get this done I'm getting bored watching me put in screws. I'm sorry. I'm a bad, bad carpenter. Um, so, uh, there we go. I do the other side, rinse and repeat. I, now the hinges, I line them up with the, um, the actual uh, webbing, like the top and the, the bottom stretcher there. And as long as it's lined up there and it's not closer than uh, it's further away than three quarters of an inch from the top edge it won't interfere with the blocks but if you do put the hinges in and they're not more than three quarters of an inch in, those blocks um, from the top will knock up against the hinge so aside from that you have a room to play with which is why I'm not jigging and I'm just kinda eh, this is more than three quarters of an inch and it's lined up and that's that. You can see there's, um, I have, they're faced in opposite directions. It looks like they're lined up, but one was feet down, one was feet up. Um, this is the sides, and they're eight feet long. So 
if the center piece has to be centered, take away three quarters of an inch from eight feet, that's seven foot eleven and a quarter. You cut that in half, and that's forty seven and three eighths, uh, forty seven and five eighths of an inch. My bad. And then I do the measuring from the same side, um, uh, forty seven and five eighths of an inch. And then if I line up the side of the uh, the near side of the hinged pieces I put all together and screw them in, that will be dead center, which is what it needs to be to line up in between the blocks on the underside of the lid. Now, I, uh, I take that handy-dandy whaler, and I honestly, I think I've used this. It's just been kicking around the shop. It's not like I made it purpose-built for this, but I, I've almost, like, I've tried to throw it in the wood boiler a number of times or in the just to get rid of it, but I, I keep on looking. Oh, I gotta build parallels again, and <laughs> I need to line something up. And I, this little black leg, it just doesn't want to go away. So I have that the whaler lined up to the pencil line, uh, and then if you set it up so that the whaler uh, leg is um, the whaler is just uh, the term I've always used for. Uh, putting the uh, two pieces uh, perpendicular to each other lining up on an edge. So it's like a, a, a flat stiffener, I suppose, but uh, it's a plywood leg. So if you line it up at the bottom, when you stand it up, it won't fall over, which is handy. So again, I'm, I've clamped that in place. I take another clamp and I clamp the um, uh, internal hingey bit. <laughs> I don't know what we call those. Stuff. I'm going to go with toggle. I have no idea what I'd call that. Um, uh, up against it. And uh, then I, I screw it in. And, uh, you know, six screws later, I move on to the other side. Here I am moving on to the other side because I was able to successfully put in those six screws. I put the block in exactly the same way I did before. Um, and, uh, yeah, I clamp it in place. I flip it up. And then I put the screws in. Doing these corners is uh, well, it's a little easier. Only real, I only use use two clamps. I line up the whaler in the corner on the side piece. I make sure it's clamped in. Once it's clamped in and lined up, I ensure the tops, and I've, I didn't mention this before, I, you make sure the tops are lined up, even on a flat bench, and mine is pretty darned flat. Uh, not perfect, but pretty darned flat. Um, uh, make sure the tops are lined up, uh, make sure they're butted up, uh, the two corners are butted up nicely, and then I take a drill and I put in another six screws, and uh, I do that four times. And then when I'm done putting those screws in, I can move on to, uh, well, very, very exciting other things. So I've finished the, I'm finishing the last corner, I'm clamping it in place, and I'd like to draw your attention to the center, I'm going to go with toggle, um, on this riser, and if you notice, all of the hinges are on the side away from the camera, which is badness, because as we've reviewed, uh, the hinges have to be on one side for the center seam and then the other side, the other face for the um, corners which attach to the eight foot length. I really wasn't paying attention at one point and it was uh, kind of amazing. It was the last one I did. I was just kind of like, okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And then I moved on and when I moved on, <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't do the last flip of that piece, and I put all the hinges on one side. And as an object lesson, I, I just wanted to uh, uh, show you uh, why um, this is bad. Um, you finish up, and you're kind of like, oh, right on. I'm almost done the screwing. I only have a few screws to go, and uh, then this riser's done. I can put away the camera. I can just kind of pound through the rest of these risers, and... Um, put away these bits, clear off the bench. Uh, oh wait, don't forget the spring clamps there. Um, I'll get the sanding block later, I figure. And then I, I'm like, oh, I'm laughing at something there. Oh wait, what's what's wrong? It, I can't figure it out. What did I do? And then I kind of go, oh, that's what I did. 
you big dum dum. I was laughing just before there, and that was because um, General Joe Bishop said something very very funny in the audiobook I was listening to, and now I'm kind of like, all right, so what do I do? Uh, I think what I'll do is I will take it apart and I will flip those hinges around and I'll move on with the rest of my day. I'm putting the last screws in uh, after I've moved it so the hinges are on opposite sides for their job. And then I, uh, I'm very proud of myself. Look, I, you know, I think there's like one more screw or something like that to go. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, I'll just edit it out. And then I said to myself, well, today at least I said to myself, no, no, I'm going to leave it in. Quite happy with this um, because it's working the way it's supposed to work. This is a much better outcome than previous. And look at that. It's doing what it's supposed to be do. Thank you, everyone. Be well. Until next time. Bye.